So the, the Aptera is covered in solar panels. 182 cells uh, to be exact, uh, almost three square meters. And uh, if you were to arrange them in a flat panel, it would produce about six, 700 watts, something like that. But they're not arranged in a flat panel. They're broken up and they're at different angles and sometimes they're shaded. And so when you spread all of them out on the vehicle, it produces a maximum of about, I think, 400 watts or something like that. But over the period of a day, it'll give you up to, here in, let's say, Southern California, up to about four kilowatt hours just from charging from the sun. So that translates into about 40 miles for our car because we burn about 100 watt hours per mile. Wow. So, Which is probably like m more than most people's drive to and from work. Exactly. The, uh, so the average daily commute in America is about 31 miles. In Europe, it's about 25. So that was really kind of the breaking point for us. If we can give people more than 30 miles a day of solar charge range on average, then they would never have to plug in their vehicle again. It would just be a perpetual motion transportation device. So, so that was, was, were those the mathematics that you ran before you came up with like how, how, how many watts you were trying to get out of the solar panels or did it kind of just come about that it was like, wow, this is luckily more than the uh, average commute? Uh, it's a funny story. So when we were talking about solar, we had built, so we built it before we built, uh, during the beginning of the restart of the company, we actually built a solar model, uh, a facsimile of the vehicle and put it on the roof of our R&D shop, which was located on his property. And we collected data for about a year and, but really after the first couple of days, we could see this was working. But what happened is we started with a small panel and then when we calculated how much energy we gained through the whole day, you know, we both looked at each other and said, wait a minute, why wouldn't we put them on the hood? Why wouldn't we put them in the back? Why wouldn't we put it on the, why wouldn't we cover every surface artfully and, and aesthetically pleasing way with solar cells? And we did. That was, that was the connection. It's like, the hood, I think, added a couple of miles per day, something yep. like that. And we said, wait a minute, we've got much more space available. We could get 20, you know, we did the calculation, so it was going to be close to 40 miles. Yeah, there's even solar on the dashboard of the Aptera. So oh, wow. see right, right through the window, right down through the window, you get a lot of solar gain right in your dash. You know, you're driving around, you're like, the dash looks pretty hot up there. Wouldn't it be great if that was producing energy for me to drive with? Well, Aptera does that, so... And it's really, it's one of those obstacle is the way kind of things, because on our vehicle compared to a regular car, there's a lot of, the surfaces are more flat. There's more surface and they're, they're more flat. They're more orthogonal to the sun. Uh, and we have a very large exposed dash that you wouldn't find in a typical vehicle because the, the vehicle is so flat. So we use that surface area to help, uh, help us be even more efficient. Wow. So it's... I mean, literally a vehicle that you never have to fuel. For, your, for the average driver uh, in North America, you could never have to plug it in. We have a little solar calculator on our website, too, that shows you, you know, if you live in uh, the northern states and you get less sun, you know, maybe you'd have to plug it in once, twice a year. Uh, if you live in the so southern states, um, you know, the smile states, uh, Texas, New Mexico, California, Florida, uh, you likely never have to plug it in. It's just a vehicle that you park outside and let the sun do all the work. Wow. That's, that's, that's crazy. For a lot of people, that's that's definitely the you know the tipping point where they start to lean more electric. Just because I was talking to Grayson about um, purchasing his next car because his lease is up with his Porsche, and um, I, I'm I, I drive an electric car, and Grayson was a little bit discouraged just because you know there's always that fear of it running out of battery, and then you have to pull over at a charging station and wait sometimes up to an hour because if we, someone's ahead of you in line. And ba then, basically, we we wanted a car that we could just go anywhere with. Mm. Um, and the Tesla is, it's great, but you do have to stop at charging stations along yeah. the way if you're going, you know, more than 300 miles. And sometimes for longer than you'd want to. Um, so with, with charging the Aptera, I saw that, uh, and then also with my Tesla for the home charger, I had to get an electrician to come out and do some sort of, I don't I don't know what it is scientifically or the terms in, in wattage, but, um, you know, he had to do something and like, we had to upgrade my electric panel at the house. He did something. Yeah. yeah he did something. <laughs> And he rigged up this, this Tesla supercharger here, so now my car can charge overnight in eight hours, full, nice, full battery. Nice. Um, yeah, that, but that's another cool I, thing about the Aptera is yeah. you don't have to in, install any of that crazy charging stuff at your house. Uh, overnight, with just a regular 110 plug like you'd plug your iPhone into, we can get you know 200 miles uh, overnight of charge range. So um, you know you save 5,000 bucks on the home charger, and you still get plenty of range out of your home plug. 
you know, the maximum range for our vehicle is a thousand miles. So just in the battery, you have a thousand miles. Then you have the solar, you know, charging it every day. And if you need to plug in at the house, you know, you can get 200 miles overnight. So this is a regular plug. Yep. Like you plug in your cell phone. Wow. This is the moment where I actually feel like the future is here. <laughs> like I actually was just like, w wow. So just with a, with a 110, that's like your standard wall outlet that you charge your iPhone with. You get 200 miles in a night. That's insane. And so, and what is like, what, what about like the charger up from that? If it's more than a 110, like yeah, you, you can get a, a like the charger you probably had installed at your house to charge a lot of range into your Tesla overnight. I mean, that could give us six uh, six hundred plus miles uh, overnight. Um, so you know, you could really charge for long range trips. Wow.